We're in for a semi-annual wigging, I yeah, suppose. Lovely. Put your coat on, Frisbee. Yeah, yeah fix your tie, too. Fix your tie. Yeah, right. Fix your yeah. hair a little bit. It looks so untidy. Straighten them up, then. What is all yeah. this nonsense? It's nonsense, it's Miss Totten. And will you please smile at her? Gentlemen, this is very undignified. If you think you're being funny, I... Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Miss Totten. Good morning, Miss Patton. Good morning, Miss Patton. Won't you sit here, please? Very nice day, Miss Patton. Would you like to speak, Miss Totten, or shall I? No, you go ahead, Mr. Setter. I will be brief as possible. Gentlemen, to date, $283,000 have been expended on the writing of this history of music. I hope you realize that Miss Totten's father, the late Daniel S. Totten, left only a quarter of a million dollars for this project. Every additional penny has to come from Miss Totten's pocket. You've been at it for ten years now. Nine. All right, nine. I want your frank estimate of how much longer you will take. Maybe well, three years. Maybe four. Well, yes. It cannot be. It just cannot be. Oh, my dear Miss Totten, surely you don't want to discontinue your father's great gesture towards human enlightenment, do you? Human enlightenment? Nonsense, Professor. My father was a disappointed musician. He was never able to master a single instrument. So he decided to manufacture pianos. And because his name was not included with Steinway and Meyer and Chickering, he decided to finance this project. Exactly. And you'll have to get it done with quickly. Slap it together. What? Excuse me, Mr. Setter, may I have a word? Oh, hello, Professor Frisbee. Hello, Miss Totten. You said slap it together. We're not the slapping together kind. He's right. And this is not an ordinary encyclopedia of music. What's different about this, except that it's taking longer? Don't interrupt, Mr. Setter. In what way is this different, Professor Frisbee? Well, as far as I know, this is the first history of music which, in addition to its written volumes, will have albums of recorded music. Mm -hmm. Now, in my own field of folk music... I'm not interested. Don't interrupt, Mr. Setter. Go on, Professor. Uh, I'm appealing to you, Miss Totten, to your vision and to your heart. Perhaps I'm maybe a little inarticulate, but I've somehow always regarded you as... <laughs> You know what I mean, Miss Totten. Uh, of course. Well, it was my father's dying wish, and you do make such an eloquent plea. But all this seems so useless. Exactly. It's not only useless, dull, unromantic, but unprofitable. Hmm. My dear Mr. Setter, bringing the peoples of the world closer together through the universal language of music can hardly be termed useless, dull, and unromantic. Hmm. Our work is anything but that. It's often very exciting. Oh, fiddlesticks. Yes, even emotional. Really? Yes, Miss Totten, we... Only the other day, we were recording a Polynesian chant, love uh, chant. West and Indian, was I mowing, I believe. Uh, get to I, the point. The point is, Mr. Setter, the chant was exciting, and it was emotional. It concerned itself with the relation of music to courtship. Courtship? My dear Frisbee, if you think that... Uh, just a minute, Mr. Setter. I'm very interested, Professor. Well, perhaps we can... Demonstrate it for Miss Totten. Yes, let's demonstrate it. Oh, I don't think that would be the logical yes. thing to That's do. That's a I... very good idea. Oh, please, please do. I'd love to hear it. Well, all right, gentlemen, if you please. Yes, all let's right. do it. Now, Miss Totten, imagine the setting in an island courtship. There's a vacant hut, the nuptial hut, all bedecked with flowers. And nearby, the maiden awaits the arrival of her lover. Of, oh, excuse me, uh, Professor Audley. You will be the maiden. But, uh, Professor Frisbee, I... Hardly. Uh, must I, Professor Frisbee? If you will just stand over there, Hardly, please. Now, Miss Totten, as the lover approaches from the opposite side of the village, he is laden down with gifts, and the beating of the drum signalizes the beginning of the courtship. As he comes near the village, his relatives take up the drumming. the maiden and calls to her. She answers. Professor, would you give us the mating call, please? That's the mating call. Now imagine I'm coming around the corner of the hut.
quite adequate for the recording, but I feel the air of reality is somewhat strained here. Well, Professor Frisbee, I didn't want to do it anyway. Oh, I know that, oddly, but uh, I... Professor, perhaps I could... Uh, very well, if you will just stand here, Miss Totten. When, when I give you the mating call... Yes? You give it right back to me. Now, imagine I'm coming around the corner of the same hut. Miss Totten, you'll have to employ a great deal more abandon, both in voice and posture. Oh, I neglected to tell you about the posture. It's the native position being somewhat more like this. And it has a... a, a, a yes, that's fine, Miss Totten. Now, imagine I'm coming around the corner of the hut. assuming the role of the lover and you the role of the maiden. I, if, uh, oh, oh, this uh, call is the lover's greeting. Uh, it is accomplished by the diaphragmatic pressure so necessary to the primitive sound uh, in this fashion. Would you try that, Miss Totten, please? Very good, Miss Totten. You seem to have caught the spirit quite well now. Now, would you try that once with me? You've caught the spirit extremely well, Miss Totten. Now, from this point on, the dance just continues until the lover takes the maiden in his arms and carries her away. But I don't think there's any point in demonstrating that. Oh, it was I... wonderful. Hmm? Simply wonderful. Oh, Miss Totten, I thought you decided... I liked it. I liked it. Yes, oh, Professor, Totten. the work at the Foundation must continue. Well, I I'll see uh, to that. Miss Totten, yes. have... you forgot your... Oh, thank you. ...bag. Oh. Oh, goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. And thank you. Mm. I enjoyed every second of it. Mm. <laughs> Miss Totten, you know that your previous intention... Uh, 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 Most amazing uh, performance. We're very much indebted to you for a I don't yes, know, gentlemen. Yes, I don't know. Without you, I don't, I don't know whether oh. our behavior was in keeping with the seriousness of our work. Oh, well. I... However, I do feel our actions were justified. We beg your pardon, gentlemen. Yes, sir. 